Hey guys, just wanted to continue with the uh, message that God had on my heart this morning. Um, you know, the Bible talks about end time prophecy and uh, the things that are surrounding his second coming. And he says that when the time draws near that you would see uh, people's heart faint for fear. And ever since, uh, well, it's probably as far as you can remember, there was always something um, that was going on in the world, uh, whether it was the political climate or whether it was uh, the uh, medical uh, issues, you know, whether it was uh, financial systems, you know, threats and breakdowns. Um, there was always something going on throughout history that would would cause mass mania and mass panic. Uh, but we have to settle down and, and understand that everything that has happened and is going to happen has been written, amen, in the Bible and has been talked about and has been shared for our uh Advantage for our uh, instruction. And uh, I wanted to talk about uh, the end times prophecies because the Bible says that there's going to be so much exposure. You know, it's not going to be the gray areas and all these things that say, well, it's, it could be this or it could be that. There'll be a time where everything's going to be exposed and it has, it is where you can see... Um, what is good and what is bad and you make a decision on whether you're going to go the narrow path or you're going to go the wide path that leads to destruction and on that same note you know in the story that I've been studying in 1 Samuel uh, the story of Eli and his children and how they uh, defiled the house of God they defiled it they they uh, they took advantage of the people that were going to church there and they had no fear of the consequences or reverence. They had no reverence and no fear of the house of God. And we're seeing that now in this day and age where you got preachers, teachers, evangelists, apostles, pastors, leaders, churchgoers, deacons, people that have been involved in church for so long and they're they're defiling the house of God. They're conning people, they're molesting and raping people, they're they're uh uh having multiple uh sex partners, uh both male and female and it's just people there's no fear of of the house of the Lord anymore. There's some things that are happening in the house of God that, you know, uh, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 40 years ago, 50 years ago, people would, would, would not even come into the house of God, even with that on their mind or on their heart or on their breath or, or, but now we see these, these, uh, these atrocities happening in the house of God because the fear of the Lord and the fear, uh, the respect, honoring the house of God is flown out the window. And uh, it is Bible prophecy where the Bible says that the judgment will start in the house of God. So don't bury your head in the sand when things are going on and you know about it. Um, you need to be the one that's crying aloud and spare and not because uh, leadership, uh, religious leaders need need to be uh, held to a higher standard of accountability and they need to be chastised and they need to be uh, 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 responsible for their actions just as well as those churchgoers that go. So uh, I encourage you not to bury your head because this is the season, this is the time, this is a year where more and more 
people are going to be exposed for their uh, defiling the, the temple and their deceptions and all that stuff that they're doing in the house of the Lord in the guise of the name of the Lord. Amen. They, they're taking the Lord's name in vain and uh, it's, it's, it's no longer going to be tolerated. So I had a great conversation with a friend of mine and we were talking about how um, uh, there's so many uh, leaders now that had been behind the curtain doing all these things that were not pleasing to God. They're now being exposed, you know, and uh, we just pray that God would uh, restore them and would would uh, change their hearts and they would start living for the Lord so they would be a blessing to those around them instead of influencing them to go the wrong way and to do the wrong things in the name of God. Amen. It's a, uh, it's, it's blasphemous to take the name of the Lord in vain and then try to manipulate people and say it is the Lord. And, uh, we just, uh, know that this is the end times and it's, 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 it's preparing the world and everybody in it for the second coming of the Lord. And our job is to, to, uh, teach, preach, evangelize, to share the good news with those that are in the world and to prepare them so they would be aware. And so they wouldn't, uh, be uh, deceived you know the bible said that, that even the very elect uh would be deceived if they could have so you know i just saying all this to say that we have to wise up and don't fall victim and don't fall for the uh deception that is perpetuating in this world whether it's a pastor, whether it's a preacher, whether it's a president, whether it's political figure, whether it's police. Amen. Just have a strong hold on what God is saying and the truth. And God will open your eyes and let you see <clears throat> what's going on so you will not be deceived. Amen. I'm praying that God would open our eyes so we can see and not be deceived. Amen. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Bye.